Hello there, friends. Welcome back on in for some more Coral Island. If you are just joining us today, um, we've been progressing through fall. We've done a little bit of mining today. We got our first cow who's named after random. Um, it's been pretty chill. I have a little bit of a headache, unfortunately. I've been kind of dealing with frequent headaches, it feels like, recently. And I think the main thing is just weather. It's just been kind of rainy and that usually does my head in, so... I have. I have indeed. I definitely always have a water thing next to me. Um, I think it's just just pure weather at the moment. Because my mom also has a headache, but just a little bit annoying. Okay, so we're a couple days away from the Harvest Festival. And... I don't exactly know what we're bringing, but we're going to wing it and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, honestly, even just something as simple as tracking the weather can kind of inform me ahead of time. Because like any storm or anything like that usually does get me. One of these for uh, our upcoming event as well. Oh. Oh, my other doctor hasn't called me back in 14 days. I hope you're able to reach them. thing we're currently doing a game here as well is kind of saving up. Uh, I really want to get my hands on the uh, the house upgrades. We need 5,000 monies for that. We are only at 3,500. Um, I also want to save up to get more bushes and stuff to kind of fill it in this area a bit. I think I'm gonna go back into the mines today. Is there a birthday coming up? Bree is next. Bree's on the 14th, so two days from now. You're talking with someone on a dating app and they have the same name as your sibling. Oop. <laughs> back to waiting for my uh, steamer to start going but Fields of Mystery has had 100,000 downloads of just being out for a week. That's uh I think I saw it was listed very high on Steam as well like most played this week or something. Oh right we're gonna go into this one. Um, I need bat wings, actually. Is there, like, a good place to get those affection? Or is it more so... Just hope for the best? Oh, my phone. Be acting funny. Uh, bat wings. I need them for a donation or a offering. Apparently Snatchers, the Bat Dudes, and Tuku Tukus have them. Uh, apparently they're... Oh no, I think the Bat 
the bat dude is the best chance and they're in the later floors of the fire mine uh and then snatchers have a 10 percent chance and they're in the water wind and fire finds from about 20 to 40 for floors so i could go back into the water one Yeah, exactly. It's all up to chance. I've only have one, and that's kind of a problem. Looking for bat wings. I need to offer them. And uh, I need five of them. I only have one. So I figured I'd spend today kind of like hunting them down. <laughs> Uh, that's water. Go through most of the fire one and you might get one. It took you a while to get them. Okay, so maybe I'll just wait for the fire one because honestly the chances there are much better. Um, no, I'm gonna spend some time outside today. Yeah, okay, okay. I was worried because like, it's like the last thing I need for that. And I don't have it, so I was like, oh, I'm behind, but I guess not. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Okay, um, so in that case, kind of tempted to get that upgraded. I'll get it upgraded maybe after we get our house done. That should really be the next big priority. Um, but I will work on clearing more of this. I'm kind of debating changing this flooring just to be this one. Just because I already have a lot of stone, I don't have to buy it individually. It was one of the last ones you completed. Okay. a hit box on this it's so wonky when i went out on break uh ollie was sitting in his favorite crate and uh, i was giving him some chin squitches and he was so happy when i first got him he wasn't very secure or safe i guess he didn't feel secure or safe i should say um around us so the only time i could really give him a really nice pet was when he was half asleep and uh that's kind of how we earned his trust <laughs> and i think even still today he's probably at his most cuddly when he's just like dozing Give bear bath this morning. He's still upset with me about it. Is he doing much better? At least.
rid of all these rocks over here. I must have been clearing this side when I didn't have my pickaxe on me. Get some more energy, maybe see some baby capybaras. I'm not sure, because he stresses out when I bathe him, so I don't do it all that often, because you know how he goes into a fit if he stresses too much. So he's had a stress poop and nothing since. Yeah, so you're taking it as a good sign. Well, hopefully his tummy feels better. Poor baby, he's just like, I don't want to be bathed. <laughs> Someone just disappeared. Oh, hi. Can't wait for the harvest festival. I wonder what everyone's going to show. Might be getting thunderstorms. Yeah, I think we're maybe expecting some storms here, too. It's kind of clouded over. I was hoping to go over uh, to the grocery store after stream, but... Maybe not today. ask about what else I can do about flea stuff yeah so this flea stuff it's like something internal like he ingests I'm guessing I don't have experience with bigger puppers or even long hair dogs in general but I know back in the day when we had to deal with fleas with our older cats it was like a flea collar and like a flea treatment that just went on the the skin around um, like between their shoulder blades or like the back of their neck and that was it. And it, it dealt with it, but I, I don't know how, how different it is these days, or it's different for bigger dogs with longer hair. He can't get to his, we have to put it on his neck, but every time I give it to him, it sends him. Funny. Oh, okay, I was imagining for some reason when you were saying, like, you know, it, it puts him off, I was imagining something like a pill, like something ingested, and I didn't know how that would work. I swear it's about the collars for her golden retriever. It almost makes me wonder if, like, he's allergic to something in the, the stuff that you apply to his neck. Which would make me nervous about a collar if it's the same stuff. Welcome from your lurk. Welcome back. Either way, poor Bean. Say Bean. He's a, he's a very big boy, but he's still a baby. is a weird collar but yeah we might have to ask about a shampoo or something yeah um does he have a harness like when you take him out for walks or how does that go i don't know why i never noticed he didn't have a collar on in his like all the pictures he's a harness oh, okay got you Got your cat's groom twice and it helped a lot. Yeah. I'm really thankful we haven't had any issues with fleas pretty much since moving here. It was just that house was really bad when we lived in before. 
I can't remember if I mentioned this actually. Uh, I don't live that far away from the house in question that I'm talking about. We didn't move. Like, we moved a couple blocks away. And uh, I think last weekend Mike was up, we happened to walk by it on the way home from somewhere. And uh, I think they might be demoing it. Which is kind of a weird feeling because I know the house is not the same at all to the one I lived in. Like, it's the same house, but they did a lot of renovations on it after we left. Um, and I only know that because my mom's nosy and we were checking out the listings for it when they put it back on the market. <laughs> it looked quite nice. Um, but when we walked by it, they had it like all cordoned off and like a porta potty out front, like the whole nine yards. And I didn't live there for very long. I was there from, I think the time I was about nine to about 12 or 13, I think. But like, it's still, it's very formative years, you know? So it feels a little bittersweet. Easier to walk big dogs with harnesses, I'm sure. Oh, poor bear. Oh, Ace, the haircut feels so much better. I'm glad. Glad you got it all done and out of the way, too. For our dogs, we both put on tea tree oil on their scruff and those flea meds you put along their spine. I hadn't actually heard of tea tree oil, but I guess that makes sense. come back so I to stiff my head a lot and be like, what happened? Where'd all your hair go? <laughs> Little Bear has a harness because he's very good at getting out of collars but not harnesses. Thankfully Bear doesn't get fleas often. It's every once in a while when a stray hedgehog gets into the garden. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. No, I want to go back outside. I want to appreciate my work. Because he cleared quite a bit today. That's quite a bit clear. I'm kind of hoping our grass moves down towards the bottom left-hand corner with the uh, pond. Fortunately, he loves to boop things he's not sure of. He wants to be friends with the hedgehog. I don't know if the hedgehog feels the same way, but... <laughs> and please, once we got our new kittens, because... How however, because we had three dogs and three cats, so it was a nightmare. Yeah, when we um, moved here, it was like all hands on deck trying to get our cats defleed. Um, before moving, because we didn't want to bring anything, you know, especially into a new place. Um, and that was three cats at the time, and it was- it was a lot. Travels deeply to take a collar, a bath, and flea repellent. Yeah. I have to admit, that's always kind of a little bit on my mind whenever we bring Ollie into the vet. I'm like, okay. I really don't want him to bring anything back and have to deal with it. <laughs> Thankfully, we've never had a problem, but you never know. Luckily, we don't have fleas out here, so you never have to give Zoe uh, Zo any flea meds. Fred doesn't have the IQ to get fleas. The fleas are like, nah, this one's not actually, not actually a good host. I flea treat and warmed every three months as a preventative. I'm this close to getting gauntlets. 
We're getting a tablet into Edith. Oh god, yeah, actually having to pill a cat. Or dog, I'm assuming kitty, but... Um, pilling can be really difficult. I still swear my mom and I got off very easy with our first cat that we had to properly pill a kitty. Because the very first pill she was ever prescribed was one that doubled as a treat. So it tasted good, it smelled good to her, but not to me, obviously. Um, and she was like, heck yeah, this is awesome. So every other pill after that, she's like, oh my god, this is awesome. Um, even if it wasn't the exact same type. Um, and also, she was a lovely cat, but not very smart. So, even though yesterday the pill we gave her probably didn't taste that good, she would be excited the next day for the possibility of a new good-tasting pill. <laughs> Cook food back in the lurk. Enjoy your food! Oh, this is so good. Stream like a sheep because he's so thick. So he goes with the flow, Edith is toweled and is a monster. <laughs> You could start with actual treats. I, uh... We always made sure Kitty got treats after. She was a good girl, and she let us give her her pills. She always got treats after. I always appreciate the lurks. No worries at all about that. I think uh, when I stream cozy games like this or Stardew, it just... It's... Nice background noise, especially if you're playing a similar game, so. Alright, so that's gonna be our animal produce. Or our coop produce, I should say. Um, alright, so I kinda want to go back down into the water today, I think. Did a lot of work around the farm yesterday. Treats are pulling my cat. We just rolled a pillow in the churu and place on the tip of the tube. My cat just licks off and swallows it because she wants to keep licking the churu. Oh, that's smart. I've tried to do similar with my kitties. Um, they usually see through it, unfortunately. Or, like, they'll spit it out, in my experience. Good meds for our cats. Luckily, no fight. I haven't been scratched or bitten by them ever, but they did their best to get messy. Yeah. I have my fair fair share of experience um, using a syringe for meds as well. Okay, so oh, uh, oh no, I didn't. I always press that button to bring out the map, and I don't know why. I think it was up here we wanted to be. Bit of a lag spike there, that's okay. starting to get hungry chat i know affection mentioned or mentioned uh like pesto chicken later on today what's everyone doing for food today whether that's lunch or dinner whatever time it is for you Point one didn't make it easier in the romance department. I just foresee more saves in my future. <laughs> Chicken Caesar salad, very tasty. Broccoli beef over rice for lunch. That does sound good.
Turkey and cheese sandwich, so I opted to not pack the potato chips and I regret it now. Oh! Hopefully you can enjoy them at a later date, if not, like, later on today. Turkey and cheese is always a good combo, though. Just made macaroni with tomato sauce with ground beef. Oh, always a good staple food. I might actually follow suit for dinner tonight. If I can find any ground beef. Hearing the voice of Oogie Boogie sing Poor Unfortunate Souls is something I didn't know I needed to hear. I had never even considered the idea that I would need to hear that, but I might. I might. Okay. Where the heck is this thing? feeling I'm not going to find it today. Or if I do, it's going to be too late. Put on Discord. Thank you. I'll have to check that out later. By the whole of Rise of AI, planted singing in Pink Pony Club. It was a need I didn't realize I had. I don't mind us like joking around with it and stuff. I just hope companies don't think it's a free pass to use people's voices and not pay them and stuff like that. But for fun times, absolutely. good? No, not all good. Yeah, you have to be all good. There's no way. Sorry if y'all heard that noise. That was my coke cam. <laughs> oh my god, really? So silly. So silly. Better be sorry. I'm very sorry. Look at me spin. Look at how sorry I am. I could hear it. It ruined my entire day. Oh my goodness. The day has been ruined. I'm sorry. Especially on your Monday. Silver. Maybe this is payback. Maybe this is payback for murdering a bunch of people yesterday. In Jackbox. I have not forgotten. We learned yesterday, chat. <laughs> we learned yesterday. Uh, we, this week, if you haven't already noticed, we have two new mods. We have Jenny and we have Silver. And uh, we did a little mod voice chat yesterday after stream where we played some jackbox and silver may have shown his true colors yesterday mcp how are you and speaking of mcp is also like the absolute queen of jackbox <laughs> that's also what we learned with silver we need to worry about all along yep yes it was did i get anything new i don't think i did
Did I need that? No, I don't. I know I need a scallop of some sort for donating. Realize this when I first entered the chat and greeted random with that constantly. You're a part of the Empire and I didn't even see it. It's right under my nose. Um, okay, so it's six o'clock. I'm really low on energy. Apparently. Apparently I said that. Do you have video footage of it? Random's gonna go back and hunt down that very specific new leaf stream. I'm even bald. <laughs> Fit right in. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just gonna go put my character to sleep here. Maybe I'll catch a bug or two. No, it would be on YouTube, that's the thing. You just have to dig through, like, a bajillion episodes to find it. Because so I was streaming New Leaf, like, every day back then. Maybe to circle back around to what we were talking about before. Random, here's the fun part. Even if you find it, I can look at it and be like, no, it's AI. It's AI. Don't believe it. <laughs> oh, nice. There we go. So we have enough for our house upgrade. One more reason to throw it in the bin. <laughs> New house! And we have furniture. An old hag if I want- Or am I an old hag if I want a button to report posts for clearly being an AI? No. No, especially when they're trying to like push a false narrative of some sort. No, I agree. Starlight Town Residence, the Harvest Festival is tomorrow at 7 p.m. in Alun Alun Square. Remember to bring your six best items for the Harvest Display Contest. Oh, that's late. Okay. 6 p.m. in the evening? 6 p.m. That kind of means evening. Anyway. Oh, we got our first pumpkins. I think someone was asking for one. I don't know why sometimes that mail just does not go away. Oh! Ah! I forgot you could climb over these. <laughs> Sorry. So I think today I might continue going around fishing, bug hunting, all that fun stuff. Oh, 
Oh god. That was a bug net. That was a bug net, not a milk pail. Deary me. Is that duck floating? Did y'all see that? That duck was definitely not on the ground. Stop running chat while running up a mountain. Or reading chat while running up a mountain. The same is still true. I absolutely still need to stop reading chat while I'm trying to do stuff, apparently. Uh... Okay. Oh, and also we're gonna get our house upgrade today. Oh, unless they're not open? They're closed on Saturdays. Today is Sunday. So they're open. Oh, I can't remember everything we needed, so I'll just bring everything just in case. I think that's everything. I think I've pinpointed what episode it is. It is. Quote 57 might be upset. Oh, okay, so you were using the quotes before or around it to figure out what I was playing and then looking at my upload order, I'm guessing. That's smart. That's a good way to tackle that. House upgrade. Yay! Okay, chat. I need opinions. I'm kind of not liking style three anymore. I kind of think I want a bit of a change. Should I go for the, let's call it a more modern style, style four? I think this, it all costs the same amount. Okay, good. Um, or should I go style one? Generic, a little bit, but what do y'all think? Style four? Style one. Considering the modern one yourself. Okay, so I think I'm seeing... Seeing, I think, three for four and two for one right now. Episode 44 of Memory. Narrowing it down. Uh, I think that's four for one. You know what? Bear with me. Bear with me. I never use this often enough. It's just easier for me to see this way, too. Poll time! Bear with, it's taking a minute to load up. Why are you taking so long? You can do it. Maybe my poll site's down. That's gonna be sad. Well, now I'm sad, man. Okay, fine. Twitch, you do a poll thing, don't you? Manage poll. There we go. New poll. Question. Which house? Style four or style one? So I'll say uh, classic or modern. Uh, duration for one minute. There you go. Poll is up. Let me know. Sorry, usually I do the on-screen one, but apparently I'm a bit worried that website's been taken down. I really like that one. Oh, don't tie it. Don't tie it, chat. Be good. Be good. Check quotes. Oh, no, sorry. I already read that one. We're all good. And once again... If you're just showing us, this is style one that we're currently looking at. This is the classic style. And then we have style four, which I would argue is a little bit more modern. Oh, were you still very appreciate? Sorry, I should have let you do that to like, you know, get used to it. 
I hate when I do a big stretch and my neck gets a charge. Oh my god, or where you stretch out your legs when you're like sleeping and like suddenly you're just in agonizing pain. All right, modern it is. Thank you all so much for voting. I appreciate that. Awesome, thank you. I'll work on it first thing in the morning. It should be done in a couple of days. Cool, and this means we're gonna have our kitchen. Yay. Hi, Kenny. Planning on bringing my flute along to the fest tomorrow. Might just try uh, to jam out with Theo if all goes well. Keep them fingers crossed. Get them mostly in your neck. Yeah, I know exactly the pain you mean too. It's very uncomfortable. I do wear heels all day and I don't normally because I was standing up at my cousin's wedding. And that night I went to sleep, woke up and stretched and got double Troy houses in my cast. Oh, I would cry. I would have cried. <laughs> I once had a neck. I guess Charlie Horse would probably be the proper word, but like a neck. Um, pain so bad I couldn't like turn my head. I was so miserable. I remember I was in geography class and I was in grade nine, I think. And I was just like, ow. <laughs> just, just let me die. a little bit of fishing here maybe that's into a rock I home some few books for my classroom and a baby pug for baby boo very nice I'm glad that the book thing actually had books since unlike the poutine thing which didn't have proper poutine Salmon. Okay, so these seem to be the same as that other place. A little book on if you find the password, you have a chance to win a gift card. Oh, that's very cute. That sounds like a fun time. I think this game is giving me a bit of a complex here. If I don't have my net on me, I see all these bugs and I get really frustrated that I can't catch them. So when I do have my net on me and I actually am catching bugs, it just is such a good feeling. Absolutely. Deep and I are going to the festival tomorrow. That's a done deal. Uh, Neopets is on Wednesday, uh, and I do believe it's Monday today, hopefully. Pretty sure it's Monday. I've been saying it's been Monday, so I think it is. Um, but yeah, on Wednesday, and I'm very excited for it.
What if it was actually Sunday? Slash Monday. I don't know. I don't know. Then we're screwed. <laughs> My week is all off. Oh, you can add me now if you'd like. You can add me now if you'd like on Neopets. Um, it's simply underscore press underscore start. Everyone is more than welcome. I have quite a few people who have added me from uh, stream or from YouTube, so. There's a photo of sleepy boys. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, they're very dozy. That's a big sleep right there. Two big sleeps. My goodness. How's uh, the one's foot doing? Wake up early again to get back into my work routine. Didn't work. I went back to sleep after an hour. <laughs> You're like, nah, it's too early. And the dirty ass carpet because they're dirty boys. Oh no, that's I'm never gonna judge about that. <laughs> Especially having big dogs, you know. Doing much better now though, I honestly think it might be. Or it was a bee sting or something. Yeah, especially if it swelled up a bit, it probably was. It happens. Oh, here he is! Look, I told you. He'll sit there playing like a Game Boy. I have mixed feelings about apple bobbing. On one hand, it's fun and super harvest festy, but also, you know, germs. So maybe I'll just watch this here. I can do that. Betty's looking for one pumpkin in two days. I can do that run right now. Is he playing red, blue, or yellow, do you think? I hope he's playing crystal, but actually, I guess that wasn't original Game Boy, huh? Let's go with blue, because I like blue. Oh, yes, please, silver. I don't think I caught anything new. So Betty wanted a pumpkin. Oop. Actually, I think I had two pumpkin deliveries to make, didn't I? What's the other person? Uh, Bree wanted a pumpkin. Okay, so Bree and Betty. Oh heck, it was Bree's birthday today too. Uh, Bree is just above us right now. Uh, let me figure out what Bree likes. Hey, Drill Hill, how are you? Bear with, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to, uh, get, uh, Bree's thing listed. Unless this is going to count as my gift for the day, I don't think it will. Uh, 
Uh, Bree likes fish tacos as well. Awesome. I'll get to meet your job coach soon. Oh, I hope it's a good introduction. I'm gonna post on Twitter the game. Uh, Mika and the Witch's Mountain are looking for content creators. Oh, yes, I remember that game. Thank you. I'll have to go uh, check that one out. Bring her another gift in case her son try to give her the pumpkin next. Will do. Good idea. Please don't be in bed or anything silly like that. Oh. That is wild. That never happened to us, thankfully. Well, there's that one time when your purse almost got snatched in Pokio, remember? Oh, wow. Yes, that was a scary moment. We were just done with dinner and on the way to the car. What was it, hon? It's been my birthday, I think? Because it was a pretty cold evening. I remember holding my coat like this, and there was a very fast person on a motorbike, and just bam. Oh. The attempt failed. I was fine. Could have fallen, oh dear. That was my fear too, but thankfully I wasn't harmed at all. Boy, the city can be wild sometimes. Part of why we moved here, actually, it's not a place to raise a family. It's the fresh air for me. I don't see a problem raising Luke in the city. I was raised in a big city myself. I had my fun. Of course, dear. Anyway, I remember telling Randy. Ah, apologies everyone, I forgot that I have to get going. I have to make a call in 10 minutes. Uh, pro bono for my friend. Oh, sure, it's late. We should probably... Oh, no, no. Oh, no, please don't leave. Take your time. Enjoy the meal, I'm sure. Uh, Bree's prepared an amazing dessert. Don't let me ruin the dinner. Excuse me, ladies. Randy. Now, where were we? I did actually, yeah, we finished Thank Goodness You're Here. That was... That was an interesting game. Man, they have a nice house. Wow. What a fantastic birthday gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Our request was where we separate the wheat from the chaff. Literally, I've been grooming my crops all season for this moment. West item? There we go. Cool. That one's done. Ah, <gasps> taco! You can smell Luke's, perf Luke's perfume on him. Maybe I don't want to adopt Taco. And it's not because I don't love him, but it is purely because he lives in a really nice house. With a really nice... Look at his bed! I can't give him that. I feel a little bad. <laughs> Alright, bear with. Um... Never had one before. When I got jobs, I got bullied in the workforce, but because I'm getting work from the government and the job coach is mandated by a lot of deals with my manager, so they act as my bodyguard. So people can't harass you anymore. That's good to know. Oh, that was weird. Playing calling or saying hun weirded me out because that's what you call Mike. Yes. <laughs> it's a little strange when I have to say it for other people. Uh, since we played it, I keep getting recommended streams that are also playing it. My eyes still need to be bleached from it, Twitch. <laughs> it was an experience. Okay, Betty is down at the tavern. I'm sorry, I couldn't handle that. Dio was playing the piano and I thought it was like the song that was in the background, but then he got up and the music kept going. <laughs> He's a fraud. Alright, let's give a big hand for Theo. He's been singing some great tunes, but now it's time to switch gears to our open mic night. 
First up, we have Millie armed with her beautiful poetry. The face of the pufferfish looming large and fierce. We tremble not, but find our courage immersed. Trials we face may seem deep and vast. Yet hope springs eternal, unyielding and steadfast. Next, we have Sam. He's about to put on a dance show for us. And trust me, he's got more moves than a chess game. Yeah, I really like Millie. Oh, heck yeah, Sam. Get it, buddy. Back with your food. Hope it's tasty. Sure it is. I'm very jealous, actually. Get it. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's give it up for our dancing king, Sam. Now next up we have Deepa who will serenade us with some smooth saxophone tunes that'll make you wish you'd taken those music lessons, seriously. Round of applause for Deepa. good. Hubby's asking if he can have the rest of it instead of leaving it for leftovers. That's always a good sign. Not a fraud. <laughs> and finally, we have a special surprise. Our very own band will perform a mime act. That's right, a mime act. Oh my god, like full-on outfit and everything. Animated and everything, by the way. Like, individual. Like, this is. Where else are you gonna use these animations, you know? In bed. <laughs> Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> Give it up for Ben, everyone. Thank you all for being here tonight. Let's keep this community spirit alive. Okay, that was a lot of people here. I'm hoping Betty is on the couch. Okay, this is good. Uh, be quite busy tonight making mooncakes for the festival, so I look forward to that, won't you? I gotta go. Complete. So there's that done. I can't remember. I'm so sidetracked by that cutscene. I can't remember what we were doing beforehand. <laughs> you got to the Cherry Blossom Festival. Enjoy. That's a really cute event. To be honest, all of them have been really cute. Okay, everything's watered. I think I might spend some time chopping and cleaning stuff out. Uh, hello Farmer Crystal, please enjoy the shredded jackfruit pie recipe enclosed in this message. I can only make it freshly harvested jackfruit, so keep that in mind. Dogs in neighborhood start barking so quietly woofs to herself. She's like, I have something to say about this, but I, I, I don't want them to hear me say it. event I got to when they're still in early access. Same here actually, yeah. I made it up to that event and then I'm like, I'm gonna wait for full release. 
Jackfruit's really yummy. I haven't tried it, but I've heard some cool things about it. Battle Monk, I was watching the stream, says inspired me to start playing the game again. Oh, I hope you enjoy. Which guide are you using? I'm I've been using a uh a web page as well on my phone that's been really handy. It might be the same one. She always has something to say. Click and tick off what you have. Yeah, pretty much. The one I'm using is coral.guide. Very handy. I think Affection sent it and it's just been very good. You can click and it'll keep track of stuff for you. Ready for another nap? I say it's just one of those days. There we go. Nice, this corner cleared out. Uh, I think eventually what I'll do is I'll probably have a pathway leading from here up. Um. I don't exactly know how I'll get it to go over here. I'll probably just turn around this area, but we'll figure it out. I know, everyone in this game is very cute. I want to study uh, a bit, but I think I'm just going to lay down and study tonight. Might be better, especially if you're feeling sleepy. Studying is not going to sink in. <laughs> oh wait, our house is- wait. My house is done. When did that happen? The inside still looks the same. I think the game's a little confused. <laughs> it's okay though, so am I. Farming, uh, level five. Oh, we had learned a lot of money that day. That's good. Oh, is the appearance automatic, but the inside stuff takes a bit? Uh, I think that's looking about the same as it has been. Oh, okay. Tomorrow is going to be rainy. I haven't had a rainy day in a while. I really do like the outside, though. That does look very nice. Dear Crystal, it's heartwarming to see you helping out on the island. There was a few folks that weren't too sure about you moving in. I won't say who they are, but I will tell you they've come to me to say they've changed their minds about you. Keep up the good work. Uh, best wishes, Mayor Connor. There we go. I need to donate one of these, so I may as well just go and do that right now. I upgraded. Um, I wanted to get the kitchen, so... Got the upgrade going. Oh, and I could have donated a pumpkin, too. Let me go grab one. At least I'm pretty sure I did. Now I'm nervous. Did I not? I'm like pretty certain I did. Oh no, what if I hit the wrong button? <gasps> if not, it might be a turn off the game, turn on situation. Because it should have done it straight away. It should take two days. Okay, conflicting information. We'll figure it out. Um... I did remember her saying, oh, it'll be done in a couple of days. But I'm pretty sure I selected a house upgrade. And it was like level two. I remember it saying that. Uh, no, we did it. Was it yesterday, chat? Tomorrow it'll be done. 
It was yesterday. Okay, yeah. So we'll see for tomorrow. Today's also an event day. I don't know if that's gonna influence. If it's not there tomorrow, we have a problem. I paid 5,000 monies and a whole lot of resources, so... Might be a small bug then telling you early the tears that were gonna happen. Oh, we'll see. Yay, I did something. I can't believe I missed out on the summer one. I'm a little pissed off about that. I got barley seeds? Did the same with fall one my first year. Uh, plant in fall grows in eight days. Sure, why not? I'll plant that now. So I think this event doesn't start until like 7 p.m., right? I remember reading that and thinking it was really late. You got some pizza? Enjoy. I'm definitely starting to get a little bit hungry. Last few mornings I've been having, like, um, meal prep in the morning. So it was like relatively large meals, so I wasn't hungry at all during stream. And then today I just had smaller thing for breakfast, so I'm like, I'm... Hungry. <laughs> now the question is, Ace, what sort of pizza are we talking here? Okay, cool. So this is all clear. Um, and because this doesn't start until like 7, I think. say, but I'm pretty sure it said 7 p.m. I'm just going to spend some time clearing the farm today. Meat lovers is ham, bacon, pepperoni, and sausage. Tasty. That's one of my mom's favorites. Why on earth would you want pineapple on pizza? Thank you. No, honestly, to each their own. Not for me. I like those individually, not together. get to do after stream today, friends. Mike ordered us some baby locks for Ollie because I guess he is just our furry baby uh, because he's been getting into closets and cupboards and other things he shouldn't be getting into. So I'm gonna have to put those on after stream. It's gonna be fun. They actually look really cool. They're different than what I thought. For some reason I thought they would like go over the door handles, uh, but instead it goes like from the door to the sideboard, or from door to door, if it's like a double door closet. So 
like when people put fruit in salad. I can't put my head around it. Yeah, I'm not big on that either. If I'm having a salad, it's savory. I casted that too. Love getting under the sink. Yes, that's where Ollie was trying to get during our last storms was underneath the bathroom sink. And it's like, first off, there's no room in there. I have a lot of hair product. Part two, you're good at like getting trouble under there. I know it, so... Quite a bit cleared out. Um, I don't know if I can go to the bathhouse today if it's actually going to be open or not, but let's see. I know, how dare I? This is coming from a cat who two nights or three nights ago managed to get into a closet that was supposed to have been secured. But then because it was secured, he couldn't get back out. Oh, is that a scarf? Okay. I could not figure out what those were. And I was like, are those her arms? Why are they acting that way? Okay. So demanded outside. I heard you say pizza was someone's favorite. Who do you say? Oh, my mom. Oh, why am I getting stamina back so much faster today? Is it because it's an event or something? I mean, half the time, same with my other cats when they annoy my mom. Suki has a restless scarf. <laughs> Honestly, I probably don't need that much energy. So let's go back home and we're going to figure out our uh, submissions for this harvest festival. Suki soon, mostly because I want to hear her lore about her and her ex-husband that's mentioned in her bio. Oh, yes, with the, uh, that one guy who owns the clothing store. Okay, so... Antonio, yeah, that's the name. Just gonna bring up the wiki here so we can keep track. We need fruits, vegetables, flowers, coop products, eggs and feathers. Um, farm products, milk, truffles, wool, and coffee, or artisan. Surprised you can't marry him as well. See, that's what I imagined you could, but I was surprised when you couldn't. Um, I don't know which of these sells for more, but I have those for coop products. Uh, barn products is going to be milk. Because it's based on sell price, right? certain line and oh and spirit fair oh my god the way that brought back instant anger i need to play spirit fair again i really do that game's beautiful it's just hard hitting oh maybe i'll get that wait do i have that on steam maybe i'll play that on this no i have it on switch never mind <laughs> i was gonna say maybe i'll play it on the steam deck okay coral island large duck mayo much as a cell for. Um, so its base is three thirty. Okay, keep that in mind. Three thirty, and then uh, the other one we have is just large mayo.
150. Okay, yeah. So I figured this would be the better product. So that's our artisan. Um, cool products. We have a large egg and a large duck egg. Let's check this. A okay, large egg is base for 75. This is bronze, so 86. Large duck eggs. Uh, 190. Yes, yeah, so I, I figured duck would probably be better. So that's the bottom three. I need flour, fruit, and veggies. I don't think I've been saving higher quality stuff there. Um, uh, unfortunately. And I should have been, but I haven't been. <laughs> So what fall crop sells for the most? That's our next question then. Or summer or spring. Uh, for fruit, I think I pretty much have banana and dragon fruit and that's it. So I'll start there. Okay, bananas sell for a base of 50. How about dragon fruits? Base of 68. So we'll go for the dragon fruit this time. And that will be our fruit product. So flower and veggie. Oh, here we go. I could just literally look up, like, a listing for them. Oh, no, this does not help at all. Um, I might just go with pumpkins, because seasonal. Uh, what else do we have, chat? I wish I could just move my mouse out of this game. So, veggie... Fruit. Oh, flower. I wish, like, this would tell me over here how much they sell for. Yeah, so I don't have any higher quality fruits and veggies, unfortunately. Or even flowers. I wonder if I should take a quick... Look around town, see if I could find a high quality flower. Uh, ooh, or I could do the ones that I grew, because I imagine that's better than a wild one. Yeah. Let's give this a try. It's We're probably not going to win, but we have tried. And that's the most important thing. Here is best. Okay, boy effect. Um, so, I'm in the... Watch, I'm not in the wrong area, I'm just far away from it right now. Uh, we have the main activity, which is the harvest display. We have smashing pumpkins, apple bobbing, and the harvest festival booth. I brought some lunch with me so I don't have to go home soon. Not my usual stomping ground, but this town's kind of cute, especially with all the fall vibes. Do you have a lot of pumpkins on your farm? Not really, actually. <gasps> Taco! You wonder how old Taco is? He looks like he could be any age. Taco has to live forever. I have made that rule. Seven to ten, yes, okay. We shall wait. Taco has been around since time immemorial. 
Taco is a long lived baby. And seven. There we go. <laughs> Taco is our harvest goddess. <laughs> Oh, I like that. God, the events in this game are far too cute and it's absolutely not allowed. I... I need all of it. Hey, you poison, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Sorry, FTP? I think I'm being a little silly, but what are we, what, are we, what does that stand for? Then I told that slime to scram. Luckily, it agreed. Close call. Oh, first time play? Yes, it is. Very first time. Uh, I've done the smallest bit of it um, back in early access, but I, I literally was like a week in, and that's about it, so. I gotta keep my niece company. She said she wanted to look for worms with me. I didn't realize that was your niece. The amount of familial relations in this game is crazy. So a piece of strawberry cake and a cup of chamomile tea. Oh, you have cake? Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, how did you enjoy the WarioWare game? I always want to get into those. I ever heard that the beluga farmers sent their best crops this year. Better than last year, apparently. Oh, how did you like it? Yeah, I wanted to wait for full release as well, so that's why I kind of sat on it. And play all the new content as well. In the city, there's just so much light pollution, we can barely see the moon. I'm cold, I think I want some hot cocoa. Loved it, yeah. So far, it's it's very good, I agree. I like the Harvest Festival, Nana said it's her favorite festival in the world. Won't lose to Valentina. I can catch five fish too. Moon cakes, the ambience. Everything is always great this time of year. Eddie's moon cakes are just the best. Maybe I should try making some too. Ava's Bay. Oh, there's. I think that's my big problem with the game. Everyone's really cute and it's hard to choose. So, you ready with the crops? Don't worry too much about the competition. It's all in good fun. Fancy seeing you here. We used to have a swimming contest here at the lake, but the community voted to move it to the beach. Should I get more moon cakes, you think? Oh, hi, Oink. sir. He's like, I'm Oink. here for the moon cakes. Bit, oh, I like his gloves. A bit tired after getting the festival ready. Those giant uh, paper mache animals are very heavy. Making these lunches with the house really brought back good memories. Ava and Yuki, yeah. They're both really cool. So I think a pumpkin can be both. Oh dear, did I like... I'm sorry, give me a second. Amazon device just started singing at me? I'm scared, chat. Hold me. <laughs> I'm... I don't know what it was doing, but it was... making very distinct noise. And then it stopped. And I'm spooked. I swear, Mike, if you're in here and you're messing with me, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be super pissed <laughs> Let me check him out for list. He's not in here. Huh. Weird. 
Love the Harvest Moon 64. Thank you. Yeah, I grew up playing not Harvest Moon 64, but like Friends of Mineral Town, which is where I know this outfit from, but I know it was in a lot of those games. You can have it taught to you like... <gasps> I did not know that. I gotta try that later. Girl home needs hearing aids. We have a cat named Zuko, and sometimes when we talk to our cats at Google Home, thanks for saying Google, it'll start responding. <laughs> My children for that knowledge, that's so fun. But I'll be fine, I can put whatever I want in for this. Oh, it is a fruit. I didn't, gosh darn it. This game lists tomatoes as fruit as well, doesn't it? Ugh. No. <laughs> my brothers and I helped my mom bake the mooncakes last night. It was fun. I got to put a uh, deer in inside one of them. Not cooking today, just enjoying a day with my beautiful wife here. Uh, where is she? I was gonna say, this isn't your wife. <laughs> no, I just, I didn't know. I didn't know. Can I take a moment? I love this giant chicken. Look at its eyes. Temple right there. I want to mill this lake. It's full of mystery. I think I might dance later. Okay. Okay, right. I know we were talking about Mark earlier, but... But, chat, be looking respectfully also at Theo. Very, very respectfully. I'm getting lots of inspiration for my new song. Trees are happy today. So am I. So listen up. The tickets for the festival you need. A separate ticket to enter the contest. What do you say? I think it's a brilliant idea if I say so myself. I'm only here to see Jack compete. I'm having fun. I think it's in the same category. I just... I had just artisan products for yours. Okay, okay, good. I like coming to events like this sometimes. I do all my socializing at once. See, if I had known that, I would have brought more of my, like, high-quality eggs and mayo and stuff. <laughs> It's okay, I'm learning. If Betty's interested in selling her mooncakes at the store, I could have a business discussion with her. You could. Don't be too focused on business, Sam. Relax and enjoy the festival. Uh, oh, it's this, this guy's here. That's really cool. He has like a full model. <gasps> Thank you, boss. So my headache is... It kind of just started to come back. Uh, it was actually really funny as I was walking under this thing over here is when it just started to like really get bad again and I'm like oh I thought I was feeling better Pumpkin Smash is so much fun you should give it a try no worries Raphael it's fun once you get the hang of it Farmer it's your festival isn't it it's the festival of the farmers my mom always said no no she didn't I made that part up <laughs> Joko what the heck uh, Aunt Dinda's been testing out new recipes at home for the cooking contest. Dinners have been great. And interesting at times. You look relaxed, dear. Gotta learn to make mooncakes. You're a farmer, right? Do you know how to make them? Uh, I don't. Pufferfish? What the heck? Get out. I can't even talk to you. You're just there. <gasps> it's a duck. Well, must be a busy time for you. I like I like their uh, their winter or, or fall outfit. Sorry, I've never had a mooncake IRL. I've always wanted to try them. Sometimes I get carried away tweaking the blend of coffee beans for special events like these, and when I try to replicate it, I have no idea how. Okay, I think I got everyone. Hey, Dak Chocobo, how are you? So. Let's try this pumpkin smashing first. Fan of less sweet desserts. I think as I get older, I get a little bit more interested. Pumpkin pie, you say? I don't mind if I do. Black sesame ones with no eggs, but it's because I'm white and my palate isn't as refined. That's a mood. Uh, start smashing pumpkins. 
Dash and hit. Oh, those are not. Okay. Oh, okay, don't hit those ones. Got you. There should have been rules for this. Ow. Oh, don't touch them either, apparently. Oh, we get... Okay, I'm just dumb. Just don't worry about me. Oh, what? The hitbox. Oh, hit the big ones. I'm guessing. That noise is a little high pitch. Oh, 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 oh my god, seriously? I have feelings about this one. <laughs> I think I have feelings about this one. I, yes, I do, okay. Why are there no rules? I need Mario Party style rules. I agree with whoever said that yesterday. Can you dash through them to hit them? I'm gonna try it again. I'm sorry for the noise. What's science? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on into me learning. Uh, maybe it's the bigger ones only? I think it's just meant to be like you can get from one to the other quickly. Oh. No, no, it's all good. Just gotta be a bit more careful about where I'm, uh, where I'm heading. Ooh, there's a golden one right there. That was good. One. Going for it. Okay. I did a little bit better. This is much more acceptable. <laughs> there we go. Today's just another day. I realize how much I adore my dog. I'm very sweet as the hill break my heart one day. I know. Animals, we don't deserve them and they don't stick around for long enough. Apple bobbing. Okay, rewards. Apples. Ooh. That looks like something I want. Yeah, that one's definitely kind of tough. Okay. I would appreciate if you gave me some, like, practice or at least a cool set, but... Mm-hmm. I remember with the, like, the sack race at the Cherry Blossom Festival, I think Affection mentioned that it will get easier, so... Okay. Got you. Oh. I think I'm better off using a D-pad for this one, not the control stick. Oh. Oopsies. Eh. Give me that apple sap. Sorry. Sorry, that's a lot of energy. We're gonna reel it in. Apple sapling, yay! <laughs> apple pie, yay! Apple jam, yay! Take that, Archie. I'm so mean. <laughs> Came really close to first overall, but I always kept running out of stamina. <laughs> I just really want the sapling. That's exciting. Uh, I gotta find a place to put that.
I really like your outfit today. I think it's very flattering. Thank you. It's what I've been wearing for like the last three months. I was absolutely cursing Archie's name from the Winter Festival. <laughs> Archie was Archie's my mood every time I whooped him. <laughs> this poor kid. Ooh, uh, I... Did I already... Could I buy these from the general store? Also, they have, like, seedlings here. I don't know if I should really spend my money like that, though. I probably won't. Um, but if I can't get those fairy rose seeds elsewhere right now, then I might pick these up. I have, yeah. He was doing the dance at the animal festival, and I think I saw him doing it another time after that. Very cute. I love the dance. Uh, all right, that's your display, I guess. Submit. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. No, oh, appreciate what I have, please. Not low. Not low. Would would this be better? No. <laughs> um. Well. Why do they get a meat? I guess it's because I have silver quality and stuff. Fair enough. What are the rewards? Flower bouquet, mooncake, sprinkler two, graven giant's ring, and a- ooh, a stamina fruit. <sighs> Enjoy your stamina fruit, sir. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Uh, let's do it. Hmm, interesting. Made you salty the first time you did it. Quite interesting indeed. Everyone, gather around, please. Let's get the ceremony underway. Harvest Festival, it's not just about displaying the fruits of our labor, it's about celebrating the hard work, dedication, and resilience of our farmers. Every single item on display here carries a story a story of nurturing, of patience, and of perseverance. A story that res represents the spirit of our community, Starlet Town, and Beluga Bay. Now, to introduce our com uh, competi uh, English competitors today. On my right, representing Starlet Town, is Crystal. And on my left is Bobby, proudly representing Beluga Bay. Now, with no more dilly-dallying, let's roll on to the moment we've all been eagerly anticipating the grand reveal. Not fair. I mean, it's it's plenty fair. I'm just mad about it. Our today's harvest face off goes to Beluga Bay. I look forward to seeing you both back next year. No, I knew it. No competition at all. Just like Daddy always said. See, Crystal, it's all about charm, strategy, and having the best produce. Better luck next time. Well, gave it a good go, but let's face it, this is my turn. Maybe next year we'll spice things up with a real challenge. Percy doesn't take into account as much as they claim to. Exactly, that's what I, I was expecting that to be more important. Uh, but it really, it really wasn't. This is fast worth it mouse than a uh, controller. Alrighty. Um, I think I did everything then. It's a pretty cute event. 
Again, I'm kind of torn. I agree with what Jenny was saying the other day that it's like, you know, it's kind of sad that it's maybe not impossible, but very difficult. I know, I know, game. Um, to win some of these events on your first year. But it is also a little bit discouraging, kind of. Ah, uh, Vanessa Alice, thank you so much for the 47 month resub. I appreciate that. Thank you. How has it been 47 months? I don't know when that number scares me a little bit. If I'm honest. Like, if I had known diversity was going to be that unimportant, I would have just brought all, like, you know, the artisan stuff. One month short of four years. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, I won the apple bobbing mini game, so. Let's see how it works. It makes it easy in a new play, I'm sure. But yeah, the first Harvest Special event, I had like gold level crops, the diversity, and still lost him because of him having all the same crop. Like, what? Yeah, no, that's not fair. First year is five items only somehow. Were they like high quality items? I guess is the question. Okay, my house is not done yet, and I am concerned. Um, I think I'm gonna give it until tomorrow before I start to panic, because yesterday was an event day, so maybe they didn't work on the event day. Like the outside is definitely done. Hey, art is going good. How are you today? <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, we've made uh, a decent amount of progress, I feel like. <gasps> oh my goodness, I really want to fix that plot. That's a hot pepper plot from summer. And it's not lined up with everything else, and it's been driving me up a wall. But I didn't want to, like, rip it up. Hi there, remember you like the minced jackfruit pie we made at the inn? Here's the recipe for it. Why don't you try and make it yourself? Found something I thought you might like, considered a little gift from me to you? Oh, thank you. Uh, I thought I'd share my pad thai recipe. Oh, pad thai sounds so good right now. I made it for the family last Sunday, and it was a hit. Let me know what you think. Dear Crystal, how are you doing? I was leafing through our family cookbook and this recipe for clam chowder just fell out. None of us use this recipe often and mom said I can give it to you. Better than wasting it, right? Didn't sleep well, so I'm a little foggy. Okay. Uh, it's nice to catch you. Live. Uh, normally off by that time. I'm able to watch you. Yeah, no, it's always nice to see you whenever you're able to pop in. Also, Macas, welcome on in, friends. This is not a door. I keep doing that. I don't know why, but I'm like, I need in. Uh, I need to get you food, don't I? I don't think you're gonna eat it all at once, or at least I assume you won't. There you go. Oh, you're starting a new job tomorrow. I really hope it goes well. That is exciting.
<laughs> yeah, you put the chest inside your barn. I just have it just outside. With the milker in it as well. Uh, good idea, though. Okay, uh, so let me put these away for now. It's been fun. It's been fun. We just kind of were very humbled at the harvest event. Um, but we've been enjoying it. So, Chad, okay. Seedlings don't last, saplings do last, right? That's what I've learned. Um, surrounding eight tiles must be empty. Okay, this one's actually a little bit different. I don't know where to plant it. Should I just save it? Like, I don't know where I want anything to go yet. Like, I have a vague idea. Oh, good. My mouse. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Okay. Um, I have a vague idea that I want the left-hand side along with the pond to be, like, animal central. And the right-hand side's probably going to be crops, and then probably down below will be, like, sheds and stuff, I'm assuming, at some point. But, yeah, I don't know. And I feel like I need to wait to find the perfect place to plant this. <laughs> You absolutely can. Any tints, tints, yep, uh, hints and tips and stuff, suggestions, totally welcome. Like, if you're about to tell me that you can move trees, I'm gonna be very happy <laughs> if you tell me that. <laughs> um, yeah, this game's really big. Like, the farm layout is massive. What should I do today? Eventually you gain the ability to move stuff around. So maybe I'll just like plant it down below. Because that is very good to know. Thank you. Just like down and out of the way of what I'm doing. It's not going to be somewhere I'm going to remember it. Mind you. Do I have to water these? That should be my next question. Jenny, enjoy your food. But I might just like throw it down here for now because at the end of the day, I actually didn't know what I was going to do with this space. I was planning on putting a path leading up this way. Yeah, affection, sure. I have returned. Welcome back. I didn't bring the sapling with me. Okay, the mines got you. We'll do that today then. <laughs> I'll continue messing around in there. Um, or, you know what? I'll do you one better. I'll get my tool upgraded today. Oh, wait, no, I can't. It's 10k, isn't it? It does also have a little bit of combat. Yeah, it's very Stardew esque for sure. And left them unwatered for a while. Yeah, I'm glad I always think to ask because I've played some games where you do, some where you don't. Um, so yeah, we'll go into the mines. Oh, it's really cute. I would definitely recommend it. It's been a lot of fun. So it needed eight spaces around it, right? That's what I was reading. be a week away right now, but once Coral Island goes handheld, my hours will skyrocket. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't need to dig the four. Actually, you know what? I can answer my own question. Yeah, it's just one wide, right? Okay, that's- I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I don't trust myself. Boop. 
it is done. Pretty much if it's green, you can plant. Okay, cool. Again, I've just, I've played so many games in the past where it, like, is mean and it doesn't tell you. And it's like, ha, you just wasted that seed. Uh, I guess I'll go... Oh. I was gonna say, I guess I'm gonna go, uh, to the hot springs. I mean, Crystal. Uh, what a day, huh? I was just passing by and saw you out here. Oh, neat. You seem to be enjoying the rain. I like it myself. In a way, rain is the beginning of all life. After the rain, everything looks so fresh and new. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Whoa, whoa, my cat, wait. That cow's like, I have places to be. I'm just gonna go out. Yep, we have one cow. We named it Random. Uh, and a duck and a chicken. A few minutes later... Wow, oh, that was new. Never had a cow run away from the barn like that. She was probably confused. The rain can do that to animals. Nope, we named it random. Uh, but we're also naming all of our animals after viewers. So if you guys stick around and hang tight, whenever I get a new animal, we'll do a raffle. And uh, random won that raffle. Uh, where were we? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, even when I was playing this in early access, and I'm glad to hear, you know, people who have played it more thoroughly agree. Uh, this game is Stardew Valley under a very nice, pretty coat of paint. Like, the, the vibes are very similar. Uh, a lot of nice quality of life updates, mind you. Obviously, the graphics are very pretty. Um, but, like, if you like Stardew, you're probably going to like this. It's it's very similar. And not in a bad way. Capybaras. I don't yet. I'm leaning at the moment towards Mark and Theo. I think. Just standing with my face on this waterfall because it means I get to be closer to the capybara. <laughs> They're so cute. The Rise of Farming Sims is doing me a not gonna lie. I know, there's too many good games. It's, like, actually a problem. I remember being a kid playing Harvest Moon and around, uh, I want to say around the later DS games, I kind of started falling off a bit and I wasn't really liking the direction they were going. And I remember back then being like, oh, you know, I'd really like a different farming sim, something that's not Harvest Moon. Um, and also something on PC, and then Stardew came out. Years later, but still. Starter came out and that kind of opened the floodgates. Alrighty, not gonna spend any time here. Same thing, game after game without a good enough distinction from the other ones. That's the thing too. Um, I enjoyed it's not exactly a farming sim but games like My Time at Porsche or um, Sandrock for that reason like they're they got the same kind of vibe almost but they're different enough and not technically farming. Um, so it was a nice breath of fresh air in between farming games. to do Harvest Stella, but another game keeps creeping up until you get my time. Yeah, I actually haven't touched that one yet either. Seems like a 
dragon. I don't know, I'm very close to caving and getting a new game. Yeah, I still haven't played Rune Factory 5 properly. I got that on release, pretty much, or just after. Uh, Story of Seasons obviously took up a lot of my time. For now, that had solid JRPG farm sim elements to it. I'll keep an eye out for that. I know the new fancy life being released. That is actually going to have a farmer life, apparently, so. I'm nervous, though, because we haven't heard anything about that game in a while. It's been very, very quiet. And, uh, I don't know. I know it's, I think, only going to be on Switch. Switch isn't all that powerful, so I'm, I'm, I'm nervous is what I'm going to say. for the day. Screaming about incompetent doctor's offices. Oh no. Penny from Story Seasons on YouTube says I never caught it live. i glad to have caught one now. Welcome on in. Just to be in. I love that name. Welcome on in. Yeah, Story Seasons on stream was a lot of fun. It was a, just a very special time for me because I was so big into that originally, like A Wonderful Life on, on the GameCube. It was cool to actually have people to talk with about it. Yeah, Fields of Mystery. I'm avoiding that one for now just because it's still in early access. When it comes out fully, I'm definitely going to play it. What's going on your Christmas list? next floor please love the gamecube wish i could buy one nowadays they're very pricey yeah i don't know if wii's are more or less pricey than a gamecube but i knew a lot of the wii's could play gamecube games so if you really want to play on more or less original hardware that would be a good option assuming they're not as expensive i actually don't know on Fields of Mystery too. I played a bit and I like it so much. I want to wait for it to be done. Yeah, so you can fully enjoy it. That's how I felt. I only checked out the demo. Um, that being said, though, I'll mention what Affection has said multiple times, which is if you know you're going to enjoy Fields of Mystery, but you're waiting like me for full release, uh, and like 100% you know you're going to play it, make sure you get it while it's still in early access because the price is usually lower and then they raise it when it comes to full release. So you'll have it, it'll sit in your library, and you can play it when it fully comes out. Are those leaves floating? Let's not worry about that. Question of when, not if. <laughs> yeah, gotta love the monies off your games. I think uh, I got monies off for Sandrock and couple other games that way. Yeah, sitting in your library before you played it, right? Yeah, Sandrock was actually, weirdly enough, the game that made me realize I'm totally down to support early access games, but I'm not really cool with like picking it up and then having to put it down when content stops. You know what I mean? It made me realize I'll just wait for full release. I haven't yet. That's another one on my list, actually. And with Kiddo for the first time. Oh, that's cute. No, I, I had it again on my list, but haven't picked it up yet. Another one I really want to get into, and I've owned it for many, many years, because again, I got in early access, is uh, Kinseed. Which is kind of a bit of a different game. It looks very interesting. 
Um, but I get the impression you can... When you pass on in-game, you can continue playing as your child. Which I haven't really seen other farm sims do that, aside from A Wonderful Life. Um, and the people in the valley also age and pass on, so like there's a new generation of people after. And I thought that was kind of neat. One of your favorites, to be honest. Yeah, early access tends to be janky, which is understandable, so. So much unique stuff. I can see and the jokes can be dark but funny. I think it's made by original Fable devs, I think it was. So that does not surprise me. <laughs> Um, okay. I am gonna run out of stamina if I'm not careful. What's the name of the game? Kinseed. K Y N S E E D. Oh, it's, I didn't even see the time. Uh oh, okay. I wasn't gonna do this again, but. sunk tons of hours into it uh, before update and after new update. It's even better. Foragers working. I'll check that out when I get in. Um, maybe I'll see if that game wants to run on the Steam Deck. On Steam Deck. It's actually the main reason I got this Steam Deck. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I was I was kind of stuck yesterday. I'm like, I really want to play something new on my Steam Deck. I've I've revisited a lot of games and I've 100 percent a lot of games on there, but I haven't played anything new. So maybe that will be the game. That is new to me. <laughs> is bigger oh, I got a kitchen sorry a lot of energy very excited yay my game is not broken awesome I am very happy about that oh uh do I need this for anything no. uh large increase in range for collecting items Ooh, it's like a magnet Oh, uh, increased tool speed. I really noticed the auto block, so. Put that in there for now. Rice I didn't really need anymore, but oh well. It... Okay. I guess not. It's just kind of vibing. I'll let it do its thing. You know what? I'll work on that. Especially because moving stuff does sound very nice.
question of the day, by the way, friends. Probably final time asking it. Uh, what game have you played the longest in one sitting? So pretty much you've sat down to play a game. You could get up for bathroom breaks and drinks or maybe some food if you want, but like pretty much you just played. Uninterrupted, didn't pick up anything else in between. What game would that be for you? And how much time <laughs> did you spend? Minecraft, 24 hours for a stream. That's a lot of time. Okay, so I noticed we have a fridge now. Fridge storage, awesome. Uh, recipe book, mooncake, sushi, sashimi. Look at all these that we've learned to make from people, pretty much. This is what we're going for, though. <laughs> This is what I've been told to go for. It'd be bad sometimes outside of content of the Maple Story for like 17 hours when I was in high school, highly in that sort of mood. I think everyone has the one game that they just kind of played obsessively while they were while they were younger. I hope you're having a good one though. Well, come on in. I uh, I unfortunately never played the original Maple Story. I only played the sequel, and that got shut down. But I really enjoyed it. Van Lurk gonna get ready for- oh, a hair appointment later! I hope it's a good one. Insufficient ingredients. Does it need to be in my storage? Why is it locked? Confuse. I've been saving these flies for this specific purpose. <laughs> as gross as that sounds. A farmer gotta eat. Um. Disappointing, I'll tell you that much. 19th. Okay, cool. So we're not missing anyone today. It's nasty. Listen, okay. Oh, you need the pots and pans. That's true. That's true. Good point. Uh, truly a farm simmer. If you're not a virtual hoarder, this is very true. It's very, very true. Yeah, I can buy kitchen stuff. Uh, I'll I'll check to see what it needs. Yeah. <gasps> Spooky festival. What animals are adorable? Eva, talk to me. <laughs> Hardly ever baked pumpkin pie until I moved here. I was missing out. You are pumpkin pies. It's honestly my vehicle for whipped cream, but still. Can confirm I have a virtual hoarder. Have to be as an Iron Man in old school RuneScape. Hi, Crystal. Hey, Alia. You look happy. What's going on? Oh, I was just... Can you keep a secret? Uh, sure. Great, because I'm dying to tell someone. So, I think I told you that I'm home on leave from the air military as a pilot, but my big dream is to become an astronaut. Every year, the air military selects a few pilots for astronaut training. It's very competitive. Usually, you need to put in a few years flying jets before they'll even consider you. But I decided to try my luck, and before I came home, I submitted my application. Oh! <gasps> Qualify for the next round! Congratulations, what happens next? I have to take some tests and interview with the program leaders in Pokio. It's not a sure thing by any means, but I'm closer than I've ever been. That's great, I'm excited for you. Thanks, I'm excited too. I'm just worried that I may not get it. Thanks for listening. I really wanted to tell someone my news, but I can't tell my family yet. I don't want anyone to get their hopes up just yet. I'll wait to tell them until I'm further along in the process. That's really exciting. That's cool. Okay. Uh, you're closed on Wednesdays, aren't you? No? Uh, you might still be closed. Okay. Might 
my time at Bor should play it two days while I'm sick from oh from the COVID shot before that Pokemon Black when I first played it over winter break. Uh I can get salmon. That's actually pretty easy. I was catching lots of those earlier. Uh right. Cooking. I have not been able to shop here yet, so I'm actually kind of excited. Hi, I have a house. <laughs> Seasoning set, chef knife, ceramic bowl, blender, grill, skillet, pot, frying pan, and an oven. All right, to the Googles chat. What do I need for this? Music in here is catchy. Coral Island bug jerky. Because only the best for my farmer. Gahoogle, yes. A kitchen. Be cooked by the player in their kitchen. Needs a grill. Man, why does it have to be one of the more pricey things? I'm being melted. This heat is assassinating me. Can we please switch? It's cold here. I'm cold. All right, bug jerky and a grill it is. Oh, my wallet hurts. It'll be delivered, uh, English delivered directly to my home. Okay, so I need to go home and grab my fishing rod anyway to catch a salmon for... I can picture her face, but I can't get her name. I'll get there eventually. Tastes like, or sorry, takes like 250 quest points to unlock, but I have that in both games. Oh, like the the chest. I don't know what quest points mean. I don't know how hard they are to earn, but uh, so grab our flies. Don't judge me, chat. Or judge me, it's all good. Either way. Yes! Oh wow, that's a lot. I'm inverting my eyes conveniently. If I judge, will I get banned? Random? No, just because I know that's what you want. Uh... Cook? Oh! Oh god, I was okay. Uh... Oh. Yeah, I was kind of expecting, like, a full-on, like, cooking mini thing, like, por uh, not Portia. Palea. But, thankfully not. <laughs> That's another game I should try out on the deck. There we go. So now I have lots of food. You know what? I'll keep that in my fridge. That's pretty nice on the Steam Deck. Uh, Hylene, you've been playing it, I'm assuming, I think, more recently than I have. Did they ever, like... Actually, maybe I'll ask first. Do you use mouse and keyboard or do you use controller? Because the last time I played, they had added controller support, but it still wasn't quite... Perfect. I couldn't navigate a lot of the menus with it. I could move and I could use tools, but... Because it would, it would just be really nice to be able to use controller fully. I tried both, but I was using controller on Switch. Do they make it smoother? On PC, you still default to mouse and keyboard. Good to know. Good to know. I I might check that out after stream, actually get that downloaded. I feel like I need an SD card for the uh, the deck. I didn't think I'd download so much on it, but here we are.
Oh. Oh. It definitely is. Oh my goodness. Step back. Oh wow, girl. Look at you. Hey, don't mention it. You were in trouble and I happen to be passing by. You okay? Uh, thank you, Zara. I owe you one. Don't worry, I'm glad I've come to help you just in time. Good. Well, I have to be somewhere. Just eat some food and you'll be good as new. You don't seem to be badly injured. I got, I got bug jerky I could eat. I'd offer some, but honestly, I don't think you want it. I know myself and got an SD card on sale. I put my small games on the SD card and the big ones on the main storage. I, um... I got a 128 gig SD card. I haven't like properly formatted it for the deck yet. Um, Cause I was using it to transfer like files and stuff over initially. Um, but I think I will just put it in and use it for the time being. I found a, um, uh, an app, I guess it would be called, called sync thing where I can sync essentially folders or files from my computer to my steam deck which makes file transfers very easy. So I don't really need the SD card anymore. And then it's just a matter of figuring out how to move stuff over to said SD card. There you go, there's the salmon. Uh, Eleanor. Uh, oh, there you are. At the museum. Oh my, I'm sure you could have handled those slimes. I know, I probably could have. But we'll let them think that they've helped. Playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team made me want to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. DX. DX is like the, uh, the remake, right? That was a weird thing. I, I guess I wasn't too sure why they put that mystery dungeon on NSO when we have the remake. I mean, fair enough if you want to play the original, definitely, but... But then again, I guess they were originally on GBA, right? And I'm guessing the next ones were like on DS, which we don't have NSO for yet, so... Oh, Walter, I can't. I don't want to go you want to go, then fine. You'll have to do it on your own. Uh, that was a weird little scene. I feel like I shouldn't have seen that. <laughs> There you are. Catch any good bugs lately? Bring them to the museum if you want to contribute to our insect exhibit. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it's two salmon. My bad. I can read. Oh god. Ooh. Remake looks better and gameplay's improved, that's why I decided to switch over to the remake. Yeah. Watch the day, Baldur's Gate 3, if we're not counting Pokemon, the DS as a child. I know it's kind of hard to, you know, think back a bit and, you know, be subjective about how many hours you actually put in, so I will accept both. Penguin. Okay. Try to catch the uh, other salmon.
there you go. Okay. I was going to be ticked off if it was like two different, um, uh, like qualities, because I don't think those usually count. There you go. I'm trying to say what I want to do for the rest of this in-game day. I might just work on clearing more of the farm out. Skyrim. Oh, and Pokemon X. Yeah. Yeah. I still need to pick up my Skyrim playthrough. I started it when we were playing Daggerfall. And, uh... And then I got distracted. Bribery. <laughs> if I'm very honest, one of my lovely mods, Itsu, she kind of bribed me into it. Um, but it was fun. I actually, actually enjoyed it. I think I needed the motivation to dive in, but when I actually got into it, it was a lot of fun. It was very interesting, and it made me kind of, I think, appreciate the more modern Elder Scrolls games a little bit more. <laughs> this is not an axe. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be honest. But I am glad I played it. And uh, I've already told her in the future we may be seeing a return of Tator the Nord, first of his name. Although I guess by then it wouldn't be first of his name anymore. It'd probably be like second or third. Um, and I was thinking maybe uh, an Oblivion playthrough and maybe Skyrim. But I'm not really interested in Morrowind, unfortunately. Just every time I've seen it, it just... I don't know, it doesn't stick out to me. Fair warning, friends. I'm so sorry. We do have an ad break coming up here. It does help support the channel. Gotta do what we gotta do. We'll get that Sonic return soon. Honestly, random, I have been eyeing the more recent Sonic on PlayStation, so... I never remember what it's called. Is it Frontiers? Let's say Tator the third for Oblivion and then the fourth for Skyrim. What happened to the second? Gosh, I don't know what it is with the hitboxes in this game. Assuming Tator the second died in Marwin. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's valid. That's fair. Also, I've decided he might not be a Nord every time, just to make it more fun. <laughs> Detour in Starfield. Tools for tomorrow. There we go. Married to Khajiit. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Argonian Tator. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got furniture. Um, uh, here. I got pretty furniture. Does, this is a dumb question. How does one pick up their bed? 
and change it with a different bed. Actually, how does one move anything in this room? Can I? Don't really have any clothes yet. Um, otherwise, I'll sleep out here. I swear, you can't stop me. You know? <laughs> this is a new fancy bed and I would like to use it. Can I... Can I swing my tools indoors? This is the next question. Is it like started? Do I have to like pick it up? Oh! Well, I might just have a bed right next to my kitchen. This is fine. Not even mad about it. I wake up and I eat. Bed by the fridge. Achievement, but it's honest work. Earn 50k coins. The dream. <laughs> If only you could hang plants in the frame. Oh, that'd be so cute. That'd be adorable. Yeah, I... I don't... Maybe I have to go to the carpenters, actually. To, like, rearrange my house interior. I have a feeling I'd have to. That being said, friends, unfortunately, this is where I need to be heading off for today. I do have some stuff I gotta do after stream, including uploads, which I am behind on. Um. If y'all are new and you would like to drop a follow, I usually stream every day except for Thursdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. till around 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, pretty much Saturday through the Tuesdays is currently Coral Island. Wednesdays I leave open for whatever we feel like doing. So it's pretty straightforward. Copy down that raid message. We're going to go see who else is online. Yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out. It was a very nice stream today. Uh, aside from a bit of a headache. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, we are gonna go say hi to... Uh, should we go say hi to Alex like Stitch again? They're playing some Stardew and I feel like that's just kind of, you know, on brand for today. Alex seemed quite nice. Great channel. And there we go. Make sure you copy down your raid message. You might meet your new favorite streamer. You never know. Have an awesome rest of your day. And hopefully I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one, friends.